Winston Churchill became Prime Minister on the 10th of May 1940, the very day that Hitler launched his Blitzkrieg offensive against France and the Low Countries. The new Prime Minister had to watch as the British Expeditionary Force was evacuated from the beaches of Dunkirk. Paris fell, the French sought terms, and Britain faced the possibility of direct attack and even invasion. It fell on Churchill to rally the nation in the face of this unforeseen and terrible threat. He did so with a fantastic speech, delivered in Parliament and then broadcast over the BBC on the 18th of June 1940. The way that Churchill worked was to dictate his speeches. A duty secretary will be there to take it down on a state-of-the-art silent typewriter. The speech will be set out, first of all, in normal typescript, and Churchill would then go through, making amendments, annotations and changes, quite often in his Churchillian red pen. Then, when the speech was more or less in its final format, it would be taken away and retyped, retyped in this format, at this size, so that it fitted comfortably into his hand or pocket, and set out on the page in this blank verse format, which gave him the rhythm, the emphasis, and the pauses for his great oratory. And of course, the penultimate page of this speech ends, the Battle of France is over. The Battle of Britain is about to begin. But then you come to this wonderful ending where Churchill says, upon this battle depends the survival of Christian civilization. Building up to this almost Shakespearean ending, let us therefore brace ourselves to our duty and so bear ourselves that if the British Empire and Commonwealth lasts for a thousand years, men will still say this was their finest hour.